Uh, so name and cis-trans isomers, right? So how are we gonna name cyclic, you know, cis-trans isomers? Well, it would be helpful to know that cis means the same, trans means different. Uh, these notations would be help, very helpful as knowing that, you know, a wedge will always come towards us or a kind of going, coming up um, and or, or dashes will be going away from us or, or kind of, you know, going down. So, again, helpful. So, look at this. How would we name this compound? Well, again, they're both going away. Or, or sort of going down, uh, per se, if you could visualize it. So this will be cis because they're both going away. All right? Another way of thinking about it is that if you're actually wedges or, you know, uh, dashes match, that means they're cis, right? And, and trans will be different, obviously, if you have a wedge and a, you know, a dash. So this could be two wedges. It'll also be cis. Two dashes also be cis because they're both, uh, um, you know, kind of in on the same side. So, again, the first thing I'll put is cis, right? And then we'll have a dash. You're always going to always have a dash uh, between your cis and your trans. Again, you know, because methyl is way down in alphabet, right? I'm going to start with chlorine. So, on carbon 1, I have a chlorine. On carbon 2, 3, I have a methyl. So, this is a cis 1 chloro dash 3 methyl uh, cyclopentane. All right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 5 carbon there. So, that's just cyclopentane. How about this one? One, two, three, four. So this is butane. This is actually cyclobut uh, cyclobutane. On carbon one, we have a methyl. On carbon two, three, we also have a methyl. It doesn't matter where I start coming from. One, two, three. One, two, three. Still be the same thing. So this, they're on the same side now. They both have two wedges. So this will be cis dash one, three dash di methyl cyclobutane right? and that will be your, your name for this compound here how about this one right. obviously now we could see that we have a methyl group that is going coming out at us and we have a bromine or uh, you know bromine atom that is going away from us so immediately we can see that this will be trans so i'm going to put my word trans here right and a dash again let's count my carbon ring one two three four five six right so this will be cyclohexane the parent name right so on carbon one I have a methyl and carbon two, I have a bromine. But again, we want to label in alphabetical order. So I'm going to count this as my carbon one and this is this as my carbon two. So this will be trans one dash bromo. I'm running out of space here, so I'm just going to write underneath. Forgive me. So one dash, well, trans one dash bromo dash two dash methyl cyclohexane right and that's that's all it is to to name it you know cyclic 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 uh cyclic you know trans you know cis isomers right if if your wedges and dashes if there are wedges and dashes in, in your in your in your in your structure then that will be trans uh, anything that matches, so wedge and a wedge, uh, dash and a dash, those will always be trans. Do not imply that because they're both going away or because you see wedges. Do not associate dashes with, okay, they're trans, right? Because having two dashes here is is, is actually cis, right? As long as they match, that will be cis. Anything different, as in this case, will always be trans.